Hello, I'm Elian St. Hilaire, and I want to show you a little bit about my own personal home computer that I use for uh, Microsoft Media Center. So, right here is my big television. I have a 47 inch TV, but what's um, amazing about this TV is that I don't actually plug cable or anything in the TV. This TV is always plugged to my computer right here. So, I use a Microsoft Media Center keyboard right here. I have uh, of course wireless mouses and so on I can invoke Microsoft Media Center on the screen but what's special about this computer is that I have Intel Active Management technology uh, built in so let me carefully I'm gonna go ahead and open this computer up and just show you a little bit the insides of how the computer works so this is my um, my television basically and so what you see here is the main processor is located right here. I have three hard drive, serial ATA, and a fourth one right here. And all of these four hard drives are running in RAID 5 configuration. That means that uh, they're all running in parallel, but if one of them uh, fails, the other three have the data uh, to continue running. I have also two CD-ROM burners. I have uh, a uh, dual HD, uh, dual uh, NTSC tuner right here, so I can record two uh, programs at the same time. And I have a video card here. This this video card does not have a fan on it, so I'm trying to keep the noise down uh, using uh, a fanless video card here. Of course, there's already four hard drives, uh, three fans running, plus the power supply. So that's four fans running in this computer. So it's already um, you know, it's, it's as loud as I could possibly want it. Now, because I have Intel Active Management Technology on this computer, first of all, I can use all of the Intel Developer Toolkit, the, the DTK, and kind of remotely manage this computer from anywhere in the world um, through my, uh, my router at home, and I can access this computer. I can turn it on, I can diagnostic it remotely, uh, to make sure that it, it booted correctly. And of course, this computer will turn off and on uh, very frequently. I, I have set the power settings on this pretty aggressively, so that it does tend to turn off, um, you know, whenever it's not recording a program. But of course, it turns on frequently to record new TV shows. And when it does, I can remotely look at the event log, the Intel AMT event log, and make sure it works correctly. The other nice thing about Intel uh, AMT on this computer is that I have a lot of files, uh, personal files on these uh, hard drives and with Intel Active Management Technology I can remotely come into this computer, turn it on you know, using a built-in web page or using Intel AMT Commander and then I can go and access my files uh, as I would normally but you know, I, I can basically um, take a look at this computer while um, you know, access this computer even if it's off remotely turning it on so that's it for my home computer. It's uh, actually a computer I enjoy a lot uh, watching, and it's quite entertaining, and it's also extremely powerful. Have a great day.